Hi there! In our prior videos, we discussed cast mining with the TH-53 FPGA board. Now, we're back to review the performance of the TH-55 in cast mining. TH-53 and TH-55, both boards share a common design. Their only difference lies in the FPGA installed on them. The TH-53 is equipped with a Xilinx VU-33P, while the TH-55 comes with a VU-35P chip instead. At VU-35P on the TH-55 board, we're exploring what happens when we drive the hardware to its maximum capabilities. We'll be focusing on KES hash rate and power consumption testing to understand exactly how far the performance can go. In this demonstration, we set the core clock at 630 MHz with VCC INT 0.63V to push VCC INT up to the hardware limit of 180 amps. With the core clock set at 630 MHz, the CAS harsh rate was pushed to 5 Gata hash per second and the FPGA core temperature remained below 50 degrees Celsius, while the current of VC Sint reached 177.3 amps. We must keep this current under 180 amps to avoid any potential hardware damage. According to TRM Miner, the total power consumption of the board is 204 watts. To corroborate this figure, we used a clamp meter to measure the current from the PCIe 8-pin AUX power connector, which returned a reading of 15.1 amps, translating to an approximate power consumption of 181 watts, 10% lower than that reported by the miner. Exceeding the standard power capacity of a PCIe 8-pin AUX power connector, which is limited to only 150 watts, would lead to potential risk of fire or damage to your PSU. As we have already surpassed this figure in our test, similar action should be avoided for your own safety. From the testing, it appears that the board design of TH55 is unable to take advantage of all the performance potential that VU35P offers. The CAS hash rate should be capped at 5 giga hash per second as this is likely the maximum possible in this setup. To ensure reliable long-term use, reducing the core clock setting to 580 MHz with VCC INT at 0.61V is recommended. This would achieve a CAS hash rate of 4.6 giga hash per second while keeping total board power consumption around 150 watts. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video about TH55 CAS mining. If you have any additional questions or thoughts about either of these topics, we would love to hear from you.